Okay, Valiant. Uh, a zealous nun wielding both holy power and untold fury. At the start of each combat, choose a card out of three and add it to your hand. It has exhausts. Yeah, I can do it, Nick. I can I can put it on YouTube for you. All right, remove a card. Obtain a common relic. Are you telling me Ironclad's a girl? A little little a little girly nun behind that mask is a pair of buns that belong to a nun. Let's go for the gold. Defend, defend, just strike, just strike. Uh, apply one, one week to all enemies. Two week, okay. That's a neutral. That's neutralize AOE. But no damage, okay. Um, that's crazy. Heal six HP. Okay, so we're getting healing. So I'm assuming I'm gonna be taking damage. Salvation. Heal twenty percent of your max HP. Exhaust. A lot of healing. Add a random power to your power card to your hand. It costs zero this turn. I like that. Do 8 damage to all enemies heal HP. I like that too. But a lot of healing. Nuns buns. I mean, is it wrong to be thinking about these nuns buns? It's like, damn, that's gonna be valiant. I'm excited to play it. And then it's just. Then it's just ironclad. Whenever you lose HP from a card, gain one dexterity. Ooh, that sounds like it could be, but I don't know the cards, but that sounds pretty nice. Dexterity. Deal 10 damage to all enemies. Each wavering enemy is dealt 50% more. What is wavering? Deal 8 damage. If the enemy is wavering, deal 50% more. I'm gonna do Zen. Alright, Zen is easy. I don't know what wavering is. Exhausting smash. I made a mistake. Uh, it's whatever. We exhausted the smash. <clears throat> now we're gonna try to get our healing, because I know we have healing. Uh, no, let's kill this guy. I need water. <clears throat> I lost the max HP for 250 gold. Okay. Take aim. Choose a card in your hand. It costs one less each this turn. Gain 6 block for each smite card in your hand. Deal 10 damage. If the enemy is wavering, deal 50% more damage. So it does 15 damage for 1, but I lose 3 HP. I'm going to do it. We're going to find out what wavering is first off. And I don't mind losing HP because we have a lot of healing. Alright. Deal 8 damage to all enemies. Heal 8 HP. Cost 1 less for each 10 points of HP you lost. Deal 19 damage. What? Yes. Gain three block, apply one vulnerable. Whenever you heal, if you're above 60%, draw a card. Ultimate defense. Garlic. That's so good. Garlic is so good. What about Clockwork Souvenir? Is there anything we can use artifacts? Can we, can we make anything broken with artifacts? Garlic's so good. Garlic is insane. I'll take care of none. Enjoy it. I like how it's called minor healing, but like you're healing for eight. Bandage up is offended. Hey, we got some minor healing here, sir. Eight HP, just minor, just a minor heal. Bandage up is doing. You're offending everybody. Relax. Why is the banning reason? Why is this free? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was confused. I didn't realize this meant like HP you've lost throughout the run up to this point in the fight. I thought it was like during the fight. You mean to tell me this is a zero cost 25 damage? Oh. Okay. At the beginning of each turn, draw two cards and exhaust the top card of your draw pile.
I'm not sure what wavering means. What's up, Miha? This is uh the call. This is called the um the Va Valiant. It's a mod. Deal 18 damage to all enemies. Holy light. At the start of each turn, gain one spirit, strength, and dexterity. Spirit increases the potency of your healing. And every turn, I get one spirit, strength, and dexterity. They said demon form wasn't good enough. Give me a full awakening. At all costs, choose and add a card from your draw pile to your hand. Add a random curse to your hand. If you have over half your, H your HP, lose six HP and draw two cards. If you have less, discard two cards and heal eight. Okay, two full awakening. Oh, you told me? Waver inflicts five damage at the end of your turn or at the start of the enemies. I can't remember some of the fire. Ah, got it, got it, got it. But I don't, I don't, I don't see any wavering cards. Like I don't. I'll explain in a sec. Been a reason. Is at four now. Yeah, there's cards that inflict wavering, exactly. Apply, like this. Apply six wavering. So that that's that's where it is. Okay, yes. Yeah. So I, I understand what wavering does now. Yes. Um, and you have cards that apply the wavering. I understand. Okay. Let's apply some wavering. Starting relic is uh, you start you choose a a card out of three and add it to your hand and it has exhaust. Nine wavering, Zen. Zen is pretty cool, man. These are all really cool cards. This is so much better than... Okay, that's like two weak to all enemies. That's... That's nutty. Apply four wavering. Gain eight block. Gain six block for each... H eight, gain six block for each eight points of HP you've lost so far. That sounds really good. I'm gonna take that. Deal 12 damage. Gain one vulnerable. If the enemy is wavering, do... Uh... I'm gonna skip. Deal six damage for each smite card in your hand. If the enemy is wave, okay. Deal seven damage. Let's do piercing stab. Now he has some wavering, I assume. Where's the wavering? Oh, it looks like a frail. Ah, it looks like Frail, okay. Wavering is intense. By intense, I mean that's pretty strong. Death Potion, deal 60 damage, do 12 health. Okay, I have healing, I don't care. Do 25 damage, next turn start with 2 less energy. I like how they worded this. Start with 2 energy, or to start with... Two orbs of energy less. Interesting. Gain six block, apply one weak into a vulnerable. Hey, take care, Dennis. Thanks for hanging out, man. This is pretty good. Wavering's pretty good. Deal 40 damage, lose. Oh my god. Tear the guy's psyche apart.
Uh, brace the pain. 24 block for two. Hell yeah. Whenever you draw a card that costs two or more, reduce its cost to one for this turn. You take 20% more damage. Whenever you draw a card that costs two or more, reduce it to one. Really? Huh. That could be good. If you have 79% HP or more, do 20% damage, 20 damage. Let's do Furious Smite. Furious Smite works with um, Zen. Choose and add a card from your draw pile to your hand. Add a random card curse. Okay. Uh, add a card to your draw your hands. I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. And let's do... Let's get the Zen out. And then start doing Zen into like... Well, Blinding Light first off, right? Holy Fury on this guy. Do some minor healing. Wavering, more damage, boom. I get dexterity. Smack. Let's kill this dude. Smack. 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 Two dexterity now. Do this again, boom. He's dead. Three dexterity, boom. Smack, clack, crack. Hell yeah. What are you saying, Jeremy? What is these smacks and cracks? Orb of Light. Start each combat with one spirit. That spirit increases the... the effectiveness of healing. It's nice. Innate. Deal 15 damage. Lose 4 HP. Apply 3 vulnerable. This is really good, because, uh... I don't mind losing HP. Gain, deal X plus 6 damage X times. So if I have 4 energy, I'm doing 10 times 4. I like it. Now I need vulnerable for sure. Woo, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Whenever you apply wavering to an enemy, lose H three HP and gain energy. Yes. Gain energy, right? I gain energy. They weren't lying. What's up, Bubba san Ah, we're just, we're just we're doing some, uh... I'm giving YouTube some love. Brace the pain. 30 block. Wow. Brace the pain. Furious smite. Boom. Boom. Alright. Let's give me something like good. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Okay, stop it, Jeremy. Stop it. No more. I got four dexterity out of that, though. That is going to be nine times four. Brace the pain. Oh my god. Brace the pain indeed. Furious Smite. Okay, stop, Jerry. Okay, let's heal. Let's do this, right? And let's heal. Seven Dexterity. And that's so good. That's better than Kunai, guys. Because you just hurt yourself. Oh, that hurts. But I'm getting eight Dexterity. I'm not worried about anything. That's just a really good concept. Like, Zen is crazy. This class is... doing a lot. Yeah, guys, if you haven't yet, drop a like. It does help a lot. Thank you guys so much. Sorry to be sure game one energy, spirit, and strength. Did I take that already? Oh, I didn't take that. Remove an enemy's wavering and deal three times that much damage to them. Whenever you... Oh, let's do a full awakening. Ooh, so we don't get an energy relic, but we got Astral Orrery. I kind of want to do 
Astrolab. What? Okay. We got in soul, gain three spirit, okay. Deal 30 damage. If the enemy is waving, you deal twice as much. That's potentially 60. The next attack you play deals 50% more damage. So with this, that's 90 damage. Okay. Nutty, we got we got Abe. So spirit is increasing the effectiveness of my heals, and I think it just does it by plus one. So if I have like two spirit, I'll get two more for my heals. Three spirit, three more for my heals. It's, that's it. That's basically what it does. So we have healing in our kit, so that's pretty nice. At all cost. All right, so let's do at all cost and then do charge, right? Uh huh. So charge makes us do 45 damage. Now the problem is he's not wavering. That makes him wavering. But we don't have the energy. Feels bad. So we're gonna do it in soul. Because we're gonna get ourselves some healing back. Well, let's do this first. And then that. I, I can take this damage. I heal for 12. Full awakening. I can take damage here. I gain spirit every turn. In fact, I can probably heal up to full. Brace the pain, OP, you guys. Boom. Boom. That's 64 damage. Zealous Smite. Deal 6 damage. If the enemy is waving, deal 50% more, draw, gain energy, and draw a card. This becomes free. Wow. Deal, heal 11 HP. That's really good with Spirit. Heal 10 HP. You start your deck. Okay, let's do Zealous Smite. I like that. Choose a card to add. More Ben and Reason. Quick step. Draw two cards. That's really nice. Draw a card. If it costs you more, gain energy. Draw a card. If it costs you more, gain energy. What the hell? What about more Zen? Double Zen. Whenever an enemy deals damage to you, apply two wavering into weak. Double Zen? There's a few things we can do here, guys. Hey, thank you, Joseph. Take care, man. Do double second, guys. Bombastic. Choose a card from your hand that costs two or more. If it, co it costs zero this turn, you cannot draw cards this turn. Oh, hell yeah. Brace the pain. Full awakening. Full awakening, my friends. Thank you, Liam. Thank you. Almighty to kill this guy, but yes. Yeah, How does he live? Language? What's language? I want to heal. I'm gonna do Furious Smite because it works with the thing, but I want to make sure I heal here. The next card you play makes that makes you lose one HP 
this play twice this turn. That's crazy. All non-attack damage is increased by two. Doesn't that work with uh, wavering? That makes my wavering do seven damage. Whenever you play a wavering to an enemy, you lose HP and gain energy. I like this a lot. Because I'm applying wavering, I lose HP, which gives me dexterity, and then I gain energy. I like that a lot. I like it. I even like deadly... Pl no, I'm going to remove strikes. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna heal though, don't worry. We're gonna heal. Is she wavering? She is. Turntable. Oh, man. Turntable is so important. Ah. All right, as long as we don't die. I want to play. I don't have energy, you guys. If I had full energy, this would be so much different. I can play so much more. It's time for us to heal. We have five spirit. So let's start healing up a little bit. Come on, let's, let's heal up. Come on. Where you at? Where are my heals? In soul, minor healing. All right. Do I have more healing in the deck? I don't have enough healing in my deck. I think I already used both. All right, we gotta kill him. No, there's other healing cards. I just have to add. I have to add them. I don't have, yeah, I don't have any other healing cards. If you draw a card, if it costs two or more, gain two energy. That's pretty interesting. Let's just do that. At the end of the day, it still cycles itself. Um. Yeah, we're going to need to find some healing cards. Oh, this is not good. We do Zen. Yikes. Gonna be a spicy one. Yeah. I should just kill this guy, huh? So many things I could do. Call the Valiant Dakota.
I need to get some healing. There we go. That's so good. I need healing. Holy shit. Just give me healing, dude. Oh, fuck. Wait. Oh, flip. Oh, snaps. I'm being too serious? What? What? I'm like, oh, I'm so quiet? My bad. Sorry. I was just thinking. I was trying to think. I got really, 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 uh, in my head there for a second. I was trying to see how I was gonna basically... I was trying to see how I was gonna kill that without taking too much damage, but I, I don't think I did it optimal anyways. This is called the Valiant, man. It's called the Valiant. It's over. What? What are we talking about? What are we talking about, girl? What's over? She's losing it. What? Not, I'm not, not. I need healing. I need a lot of healing. This is not sustainable, guys. This is not sustainable. My strategy is not sustainable right now. Apply four wavering gain eight block. Yes. Oh, thank you, Rod. Thank you, Gabe, as well. Appreciate that, dude. Let's try Radiance. That's not good. Shuffle three burns into your draw. Whenever you draw an HP loss card, deal six damage to all enemies. Okay. Okay. Find more heal, yeah. No, there were some heal cards, I just didn't take them. Stupid me. If I just defend, he's gonna die. Okay, we just, let's heal. Let's seek some answers. Let's heal again. Well, see, I can kill him right now. But if I do Marty healing, I'm doing 5 damage, right? And then if I do this, it's going to get down to 6 times 2. So I win anyways. 5 times 2, rather. There, that's some healing. There we go. Gain 2 spirit. More wavering. Hell yeah. I should probably rest, huh? There's so many of these cards that can get so much better with upgrades, though. Like, like that's so much better with upgrades. And so is this.
What's up, Jay Bird? Hey, welcome, man. Good to hear that. I love when we get some uh, some longtime viewers coming out to say hello. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Jay Bird. That's 60 damage right there. Wait, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, this is Baku. Baku made this. He's uh, one of my viewers, one of our one of our subscribers actually. He made he made this art. What do you guys think? It's nice, right? Oh, nice, j -Bird. I'm glad to hear that, dude. Oh, I'm drowning. Jeremy, you're drowning, bro. I need to stop the drowning. I need to stop the drowning. Doesn't this stop drowning altogether? Or do I die? That's the question. I stop the drowning, but then I die. Let's heal up. <laughs> These are getting hairy. Drown it again. We're fine. The drowning makes me get more dexterity. I have twenty one dexterity. Twenty-seven dexterity. Wait, I am dead. Wait, I gotta kill him. Wait, I gotta kill him. I gotta kill him. Otherwise, if I don't kill him, he gives me a curse. No. Damn it. All right, lose two strength. You take fifty percent less damage. That's cool. Deal damage equals to their HP. Lose eighty percent of your max HP. What? Did they expect me to heal that back up? That's weird. Gain energy at the start of each turn whenever you play a rare card exhausted. Yeah, I'll take it. I need energy. That's great. Yeah, when they say final gamut, they mean it's the last card you play in the whole run as the final boss. Because how do they expect you to heal that back up? Maybe I'm not doing something. Maybe I'm not seeing something. Maybe I'm not seeing some things. Um, draw two cards. Abe's Revenge. At the end of your turn, gain two frail. Damn. Feels bad. Seek answers. Damn. Oh, it's max HP. That's yeah, really a final gambit then. That's 50 damage. Oh, get rid of that. I thought it was percentage max HP. Yeah, I thought it was like 
It's at 80% of your max HP. So I don't think you lose your max HP. I, I believe you lose... So let's say you do 84 damage, right? But you lose 80% of your max HP. So I believe you take that damage to the face. I don't think you, uh... I don't think you lose max HP. I said, I'm not dumb. Thank you. Let me feel like I was dumb for a second. But you are, Jeremy. Stop it. Oh, push onward, it's called. Gain 12 block, exhaust the top card of your deck. Deal 10 damage applied to Wavering. Can only be played if you have a card in your hand that costs 2 or more. Draw 3 cards, lose the HP. Let's do Might, Might Bracer. Gain 1 haste. Deal 35 damage. If you have no energy in your pool, start with... Next turn with uh, 1 energy less. Gain 1 haste. Haste is for each card you play this turn, deal 10% more damage. I'll take the haste. Weak form. Full awakening. Blinding light. Alright, let's do Zen, Brace the Pain, Furious, Miabalize. Miabalize me! Yeah, it applies slows, but it doesn't have to do a debuff. It's crazy. So haste is better than slow because you don't have to do the artifact debuff thing. Big fan, big fan. Abandon reason. Explain to me why you didn't get played. I just took damage for you. Abandon reason is a weird card. That's 13 times 5? What? What are my thoughts on the Valiant? I think it's... There's some interesting stuff going on. I'm not sure exactly how I feel just yet. Deal 32 damage. I want to go for the shot, damn. You know, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of a strike. What am I, who am I kidding? Vindicated. A plot and wavering. So, boom. Da -da 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 -da. Almighty strike. All by myself. Don't wanna be. I'm gonna seek some answers. I feel like I'm playing this class all wrong. I mean, I am. It's fun, but I'm playing it wrong. It's my first time, what do you expect? Thank you. 
Oh shit. Interesting. Delving Prayer. At the beginning of each turn, draw three cards and exhaust the top card of your draw pile. It's weird. Some weird stuff, man. Get a rare relic, upgrade all cards, you can no longer heal. That sucks. No longer heal, you tell me, huh? That sounds a little crazy. Don't you know I'm a nun that loves to heal? Let's do a, a rare. More deuce. This is really good, actually. Overburn. At the end of each turn, upgrade attack card in your hand if you can't lose two HP. That's... That's... something. That's a... that's a card. That's good, that's a good way to get free dexterity with the Zen. Brace the pain. This is a good to get, way to get dexterity as well. Wait, also, that's a good way to, uh, Zen is a good, I think Zen is really nice. I, I want to mess around with Zen some more. Peaceful Stance makes you take 50% less damage. It's like Paper Crane in a power, guys. Peaceful Stance is like Paper Crane in a power. Let that sink in for a second. Let that sink in. That's insane. Oh, that sucks. Goodbye. Interesting, man. I'm not sure what to say. It's like, I'm getting a lot of dexterity. I feel like the class is very strong. Like, the class is like a really, a lot of strong things that can, they can do. I feel like if you spend time looking at this class and like learning everything, you can make a deck that's extremely broken. Triple an enemy's wavering. Well, that's only good for the card that does the wavering to their face. Otherwise, it's not that good. Peaceful Stance is crazy. Oh my god. I'm losing my mind out of Peaceful Stance. Embrace the Pain is really... Like, there's certain strongs, like certain cards like Embrace the Pain and... Like peaceful stand. Some of the things are just really kind of crazy, actually. The Vine Fever is a common card that heals you and does gives you blocks. So that's like that's interesting. Ah, that sucks. I should have done turntables, my bad. I should have done turntables. Oh shit. <laughs> the game's telling you, you should have done turntables. Whenever I play, apply Wavering, I'm gonna gain two energy but lose six HP, but it's gonna give me two dexterity every time I play Wavering, which could be actually pretty bad. Like, look. Oh, I just realized I'm so stupid, guys. 
I just killed myself. I just realized I didn't have Zen up, first off. Second off, I should've done the heal last turn. I basically killed myself with the turntable. <laughs> oh my god. Whoops. Whoops. It's, it's a mod. We're doing it for science, guys. It's a mod. It's a mod. We want to see this to the end. I got a little carried away there. I think wavering's weird. I don't like wavering. Just throwing that out there. I to be Zen first. I think its base effect is weird. Like, okay, so having 23 stacks of Wavering like I do, or 13, doesn't do much for you outside of the fact that you get, um... Outside of, what's it called? That one card that does damage based on wavering. It just feels weird. For every three lost life card in your deck, start each combat with. For every three life lost card in your deck, start each combat with. Oh. For every, <laughs> it wasn't fully there. For every three life lost card in your deck, start each combat with one additional dexterity. You have four life lost cards. Oh, cool. Oh, that's sick. Anything that makes me lose life gives me dexterity. That's cool. Yeah, I feel like if you get more wavering, it should do something. I agree. We can need incense. At the start of combat, at all enemies gain one wavering. Cool. That's cool. It's like bag of marbles for, for wavering. Maybe things like smite will just become better. It makes the zealous whatever pretty good. The zealous manelis. Peaceful Stance is probably the most broken power in the game. Uh, I just want to put that out there. Peaceful Stance is really good. Interesting. If you have card draw, this is good. Do I have card draw? Not really. Ah. 
Whenever you apply game vulnerable, it's also applied to the enemy. Deal 8 damage, return a card from your discard pile to your hands. Double an enemy's wavering. Lose 6 HP, draw 3 cards. This is a good way to get card draw. It also gives me dexterity. Um, hand mirror. Okay, what about uprising? What would I want to keep bringing back from my discard? I'm not sure. Reduced to nothing. I think we'll do like master of strategy maybe. Is there another shot? Whenever you gain weakened or vulnerable. It's not gonna work on this girl. There is a way to get vulnerable on myself though. But I don't have that card. Not that I would care. I don't care about vulnerable. Baseball. Wow, okay. Peaceful stance is free. Let's get some card draw. Boom. Draw four cards. Full awakening. Brace the pain. These are all okay. These are all okay. Two card draw. It's a lot of HP loss, but damn. Heal 20% of your max HP. Yeah, full awakening would be nice if I get that for free. I should I should I should upgrade it. I think it's probably worth an upgrade. I know I have a heal in here. I have a salvation here. I did that because I have salvation. I know I put it in my deck. I know I have salvation. Do I not have salvation? Did I use it? It's coming up. There it is. If you have over half your HP, lose 6 HP and drop 2 cards. If you have less than half, discard 2 cards and heal 6 HP. That's weird. Dig or rest. Upgrade a random card. Heal 20% max HP. Brew or dig. How does dig? Bottle tornado on peaceful stance or full awakening. Wow. So if we do Zen up front, that's really good. Peaceful stance is so good. Zen. I think Zen's going to be so worth it. 
Zen's gonna be worth it, guys. Sharpen as well. I want to. I'm gonna be gaining like a shit ton of dexterity a turn. I'm gonna keep this here because I want to be gaining spirit, so that's gonna that's gonna scale up to be stronger. So every time I do a wavering on them, I gain three dexterity. Every time I do a wavering on the enemy, I gain three dexterity. Every time I have an attack that don't have an attack at the end of my turn to upgrade, I gain three dexterity by lose HP. So that that's sixteen dexterity. I mean that's insane. So yes, I'm blocking like crazy, but what about my damage? Well, my damage can come from things like that, and uh, the Wavering's consistent damage. This is not bad. This is going to give me 3 Dexterity. 3 Dexterity. Gotta be careful with that. Get rid of a defend, that's fine. Damage, damage, damage. Heal back up. Alright, 34 Dexterity. 37 Dexterity. I thought Kunai was crazy. That's pretty crazy. Race the pain is 70. I just want to do it. There we go. 46 dexterity. 49. Alright, let's be careful though because we could end up killing ourselves. Because I don't have consistent way to heal. Full Awakening. Furious Strike. That's, that's some of my damage. I gotta be careful. I mean, technically, I could just be really slow. Ah, it's killing myself. Why am I doing that? I gotta be careful, guys. I'm actually killing myself. There's no point in having all this wavering or even all this block because my damage is so shitty. Oh, you know what's gonna call that sharpens killing me. I think sharpen's unnecessary. Can we get it out? I don't like sharpen. I gotta hurry up. Sharpen's killing me. Can we stop it? Can we stop the sharpen? Holy shit, sharpen, please. I don't have healing for this. Ah. I had to kill myself. <laughs> this is this is only right, guys. It's only right that we end it like this. It's only right. Sharpen, please. Ah. Sharpen kills me. So, 2 HP a turn. God damn. I can, I can go ahead and safely say that's not meant for, uh... That's not meant for boss fights.
I can't even do damage now. I don't have heal. Is there a card that heals without, like, exhausting? Probably not. It's only fitting that we would end the nun in the valley in that way. Alright, I think I could have won. I could have done something different. I didn't sharpen was... <laughs> Imagine sharpen's brutality, but, like, yeah, that's crazy. I, I did it... I did it for the, uh... The lore, right? It makes sense that the nun would do that. The righteous way to go out. Alright, that's... It was an interesting look at the Valiant. We learned a lot. I think if we do it a second run, we can kill it. And I think we learned some of the downsides of... Going too crazy with this Zen and Sharpen. And be careful with the powers you play, basically. Because, yeah, I had 200 dexterity. But I had no life. At what point do you need that much dexterity? Absolutely never. You do not need to take two damage every turn. It was fun. We learned a lot.